Hey all you zealots and zergling, it's time for game 3 of the 3 uh, West 2v2 marathon. We've decided to change the teams up once again. As you see, I am the Purple Protoss, Random Races, and my partner is now Dunamai, the Teal Protoss. Our opponents now are Contrarian, the Green Protoss, and Wolfpack, the Yellow Zerg. So three Protoss and a Zerg. Right now, Contrarian has got two wins under his belt. Dunamai and I both have one win apiece, and Wolfpack has got a goose egg right now. Can he pull it in and give Contrarian the perfect, the, uh, perfect series? We'll just have to see. Oh, and Dunamai is messing up his macro. Whatever shall we do? We check the income, but he's not down a harvester just yet. Oh, well, now he's down maybe a little bit. Actually, our opponents are the ones that are catching up. We're the ones that are behind, and he's even ahead of me, so I don't think losing that probe is going to do him that much of a disservice. And I think we were deciding to do a double four gate, which is extremely aggressive. Dunamai's throwing down his first gateway, which throw the production tab. And we are both have our first gateway, and we got a spawning pool for Wolfpack. Uh, does not look like Contrarian yet has a warp. Ah, there we go. Now we're getting a gateway for him. So we are underway, and it looks like I've got a scouting probe returning. And yes, I am going to announce the races we are up against. Which I think Double Four Gate would do okay against us. Against Double Terran, who knows? Terrans, Terrans are overpowered. Everyone knows it. I know it, you know it, we all know it. They're OP. They need to be nerfed. And it looks like we got a second gate. Way coming up for Dunamai. His first one is finished. Is he going to be getting a zealot underway? Yes, he is. And I believe my gateway should be finished now. Yes, my gateway is finished. And there, that's another pylon. I will be probably getting my cybernetics core. And I paused there because I wanted to make sure I didn't close. Yeah, I'm just checking to make sure I did not wall myself in because I did not want to do that. And we do have a roach warrant for Wolfpack, which I kind of assumed. He seems pretty comfortable with roaches. Seems to be the go-to unit for everybody here. Except me. I can do lots of things. I can do Ling. I can do Roach. Well, I guess that's basically all you can start with is Zerg. We do have a Cybernetics Core for Contrarian. It's a little bit behind mine. Check the income. Maybe it's because, yeah, he's decided to put his money into his economy. Which, nothing wrong with that. And we don't have any gas yet for Dunamai. So apparently we're going for a Zealot-heavy build. Which... Could explain why he has absolutely no cybernetic score. Now he's going to get his gas. He's going to maybe he thinks the four gate means you get four gates before you do anything else. I don't know. I'm still on one gate, pumping out his zealot. I do have one already complete. And what do we got coming here for contrary? Oh, we got a robo bay. Is that all his only other production building? So he's going for the the ever rare one gate robo. So we will see what he's going to do with that. And we do have a lair coming up for Wolfpack. Has he produced? He is. Oh, he's popping up some roaches now. Does he have any other roaches? Nope, that is his first roach. And we got a zealot here. A few zealots. Oh, we do have some zealots. Looks like Dunamai's got five. I've only got two right now, but I should be getting some more. Here we go. Here come the gateways. It's time to get this serious with this four gate here. Which. Interesting. He decided to put his cybernetics core up in the front where it'll be nice and vulnerable. Keep his gateways in the back. He's still only on a three gate. Then again, I think I'm still on a... Oh, no, I did get my fourth gateway coming. And we do have a second gateway, so he decided to go one gate robo into a two gate robo. And he's getting out an observer, and he's got an immortal coming up next, but oh, he's supply blocked. He's one supply short, and that pylon is a few seconds behind. So that's unfortunate, but he does have this observer coming out on the map to see what is going on. And we got some, let's check the army size here. It looks like we got 72 for us and 72 for our opponents. So even in the army count. Income count, oh, I can't look at all these numbers at once. Looks like Contrarian's got the best economy, but he's putting a lot into gas, which he's going to need for that robo. 
definitely going to need gas for the robot, and he's not doing anything with his gateways right now, and he's, you know, he's got his warp gate technology. He needs to convert these into warp gates. Why are these not warp gates? I have my warp gates ready. I even got the little watchtower here, and... Ooh, now that is not my my pylon, otherwise I would have just had him build it. So we are going to skirt right past that. It's interesting that he's going to try to place a pylon there, but he is going to be disappointed because my probe will not stand for this. Or maybe he will stand for it. I'm not really sure why, but my stalkers are going to be like, I don't think so. Oh, but we do have some action here. We are at his front door. He does have an immortal out, but immortals do squat against zealots. Needs to be focusing down the stalkers, but now he's surrounded by zealots. He is not long for this world, and he does have a second immortal, but again, he's going up against zealots, and we do have some roaches coming here against the, uh, the uh, stalkers. And in the good enough numbers, roaches will do the number on stalkers, even though stalkers do have the plus armored advantage. And it looks pretty even. I'm not really sure who's going to win this battle. I Oh, it's going to be so close. It's down to three each. But I've got some reinforcing stalkers and a sentry, and I'm getting my proxy pylon, so we'll have quick reinforcements. We look inside his base. The probes are on the run. He's trying to pump out another immortal, but that is not going to do him anything right now. He really needs to be pumping off of his gateways. He does have a couple stalkers coming up, but he is definitely outnumbered, and this is very unfortunate. And now my proxy pylon is here. Looks like I just warped into some more stalkers, and here's some more roaches. Oh yeah, pull it in here. We don't want we don't want one stalker fighting four roaches. So I'm pulling back to try to regroup my units and turn around, guys. Yeah, we're gonna turn around, and this should be enough to clean up these roaches, I think. And Contrarian's probes are on the run, and they realize that his perfect series is is falling down around him, and another immortal, and still he cannot get these immortals anywhere near the stalkers, which is completely oh. And Contrarian has lost his base. He's being revealed. I don't know where his probes went. Maybe they all died, and he is going to give the GG. Oh, he's going to see. He's going to surrender. He realizes that his perfect series is done. He's going to have to have to, have to be happy with a 2-1 record. But what about Wolfpack? Can he pull it back in time? He is throwing down an expo. He's not giving up. He is a feisty one. But here comes his Protoss army. Can he stand up against all of this? I'm going to check the APM just for the fun of it. Oh, okay, now that a APM sucks. Let's just get rid of that all together and watch the rest of this. And Oh, here come the roaches and the queen out to fight. He's going to try to throw down some spine crawlers, but I think it's too little too late. These things take 50 seconds to build. Believe me, I know. If the guys are at your front door, it is too late to build them. And Wolfpack's going to leave the game. So it, this one goes to the double Protoss team. And in the final results, it is Contrarian, ending with a 2-1 record. Me, the Hive, go ending also with a 2-1 record. Dunamai with a 1-2 uh, record. And unfortunately, Wolfpack was not able to pull out the win. But good luck next time, Wolfpack. I'm sure you can pull out one in the future. I hope you enjoyed this series. It was a pretty quick one, but exciting at times. So have a day.